when you're breaking your heifer to lead, take her through doorways to accustom her to going through strange places. Lead her from the left side with the halter strap neatly coiled in the right hand. Walking your heifer around the barn lot gives her much needed exercise and trains her for the show ring. Get her used to going around the lot clockwise, just as she will do in the judging arena. Now you're ready for the next step, which will be setting her up for the judge. To start with, just scratch her with your show stick on the brisket and lower chest. Brush her a little if necessary to calm her down. Teach her to move her legs when you touch her feet with a stick. Be sure your heifer is standing with all four legs squarely under her and keep her head up and alert at all times. Comb and brush your calf regularly. This will gentle her and improve her hide and hair. It takes plenty of elbow grease to make your calf look her best. Everyone looks neater with a fresh haircut, and so will your heifer. In grooming her for the show ring, start by clipping her tail. Locate the spot where the twist splits and clip from there to the tail head. You may find it easier to use a scissors for shaping up the hair around the tail head, but electric clippers will do a better job elsewhere on the tail. To finish the haircut, you must clip your heifer's head. This will make the pole more sharply defined and add a great deal to the appearance of your animal. A chalk line will help you in keeping the edge of the clipped area from becoming jagged. Clip her back to the area where a neck strap is placed, but don't clip her ears. When you've finished, she'll be more presentable for the show ring. Plenty of soap and water are important if you're going to have this young lady ready to parade through the show ring. This is a big job, as she should have at least two washings a week during the month prior to the big show. For the best results in getting the dirt and dust from her coat, use soft water and a good mild soap. Give her a thorough scrubbing with a brush. Lather her up completely. Don't be afraid of scrubbing her vigorously, being careful to keep the water out of her ears. Then rinse all of the soapy water out of her hair. Now she's ready for a rinsing with a milk dip solution. This sets the curl you will put in her hair later. Scrape the excess water from her body and smooth down the damp hair with a clean rice root brush. Now you're ready to curl her hair. This is best done while the hair is still damp from the milk dip solution. Make straight even lines by pulling a four road marker from back to front. Line her completely almost down to the hock. Wait a few minutes, then start at the underline and pull the hair upward with the brush and scotch comb. Brush and comb upward until the hair is soft and dry. She should be brushed daily at least four or five weeks before the show so the hair is well trained. Now she's ready for the show ring, looking clean and well groomed. Yes, fitted and ready to catch the eye of the judge. Fitting equipment is necessary to help your heifer look her best in the show ring. The most important items used by experienced showmen are a hair clipper, rice root brush, curry comb, scotch comb, hard rubber comb, marker, nippers, oiling cloth and coat dressing, rasp, halter, bucket, show stick, and hand sprayer plus your personal equipment. And as showtime approaches, you should begin getting ready several days ahead of time. Collect your equipment, making sure everything you will need is included. If possible, you should have a durable and attractive equipment box. 
Before loading your heifer, a generous amount of straw spread in the truck bed will protect her from slipping around. It will also add to her comfort on the long ride. Now the big day has arrived. This is when you load your heifer and head for your first show. The fun ahead will be your reward for all of the many hours spent in preparing your animal. As you climb into the truck, your hopes are high. You've worked hard, feeding, washing, grooming, and looking after your Angus heifer. She has responded to your fine treatment and looks every bit like a prize winner. No wonder you're looking forward to the excitement of competing with other boys and girls. You should have your heifer at each show at least two days early. Let her rest all she will the first day and feed her lightly. Also, feed her lightly on judging day. Wash her the day before she shows and curl her hair afterwards, brushing it up until she's dry. Put a small amount of hair dressing on a wool cloth and go over her to pick up any dust or dandruff that has collected. This gives added life to her coat. Curl her far enough ahead of showtime so her hair will be dry when you lead her onto the tan bark. Here's where the care you've given your heifer's coat pays off. When you lead onto the tan bark, your fingers will be a bit moist, your stomach fluttery, but steady yourself because you came to show your heifer to her best advantage. Lead your calf from the left side. Change hands with the halter strap when you stop. This will leave your right hand free to use a comb and your show stick. Set your calf up carefully each time she's moved to a new position. Keep your calf's head up and her back straight. Leave room for the judge to examine her from both sides. If she becomes restless, don't fight her. Work gently and get her to move and pose to the best of your ability. A good showman presents his animal to the best advantage and doesn't intentionally block the judge's view. When the judge is handling your animal, loosen the side being handled and give a shorter view by swinging the head and neck in the judge's direction. An able showman is courteous, tends to his showmanship, and is not asleep on the job. To show a winner is fine, and you should try for the championship. But only a few can win the big prizes. And the important thing to remember is that you can gain much experience and training without ever winning a blue ribbon. Always try to do your best and profit from your mistakes as you gain experience. You'll head for home with a feeling you've done your best. Showing your heifer has been fun the thrill of competition with your friends and the new friends you've made. It will be good to get back home. You're already thinking of putting your heifer into the breeding herd and you'll pick another calf to fit for next year's shows. You'll profit from the lessons you've learned and the knowledge gained in your exchange of information with other boys and girls. When you get home, cut down on your heifer's speed gradually to reduce her fleshing. However, do not reduce her ration or change her environment too soon. When she's adjusted to a reduced feeding, turn her on grass and continue to give her a limited amount of grain. Most of your heifer's life will be spent on pasture, and Angus are famous for converting grass into beef. Yes, now you're on your way to a wonderful life. You've laid the foundation for your future, and you're building for success. Within a few years, you'll have a herd of good Angus cows producing good calves for you year after year. And as your herd grows in size and quality, you will grow in character and prosperity. The assets you're building in an Angus herd are easily converted into cash for a college education. In the meantime, your friends and neighbors will envy your success and the life you are leading as a young American stockman. The future belongs to those who plan for it. And with an Angus cow herd, 
your future should be secure.